Here we go. Trump versus Hillary. Hey guys and welcome back to Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. You guys have loved this game on the channel previously. We were actually playing it pre-alpha and now the alpha is out and there's a lot of changes to the game. If we jump into the sandbox, you can see that there's all of these different units. There are dark peasants, super peasants, all sorts of crazy stuff in here. So we're probably going to play around in here at the end and see what we can do. But before we do that, let's actually try and play through a few of the levels and see what we can do. So here we go. We're starting off against just a bunch of peasants, 500 money, it's a decent amount. So the units have been kind of categorized here. And there's a few new ones, spear throwers weren't in here before, and the axe man. You know what? I want to see what two axe men do to this bunch of peasants. There we go. I'm not even going to spend my extra 100. I reckon these guys have got it. Let's start the simulation. Look at these guys. What you know about rocking the wolf on your noggin? I reckon they got it. Oh, they, they, they flip with the axe. It's, it's a new form of martial arts we've never seen before. They're unbelievable. Look at them. <laughs> They're like, for some reason they remind me of like the uh, droidikas in Star. Oh my god! He had him hooked on his axe. In the way that they just kind of roll. It's like they see them rolling. They hating. Okay. Um, well that went pretty easily. I think, you know, these first few levels, we can, uh, we're going to have some fun here. This is always a fun thing to do, isn't it? Just have a semicircle of archers ready to just mow down the troops. You know what? Let's start it there. Again, I don't think we're going to have any trouble here. These poor peasants. Who sent these peasants into battle? Again, such a formidable force of archers. As long as my archers don't start shooting each other, which it doesn't look like I intend on doing. Another easy victory. And where are they off to now? They're just running off. They're like, we did it. Okay, a bit more difficult now. We have swordsmen with epic hats. Yo, check the hats out on there. Against and behind shield guys. Okay, so we have 1500. That's quite a lot of monies. Feel like a few Vikings to go in and just kind of mess with the shields. A few spear throws either side. Test them out. This is a bit of the uh, bit of the smart stuff now. Let's get some shields down the middle with some spearmen behind them. Listen to me, you're sounding all technical and tactical. We'll have some samurais come in, join the battle late from the back. I don't think this can go wrong. Performance impact medium, but my PC's got it on deck. Here we go. Is this all going to go to plan? Look at that, there we go. Look at that, see the Vikings have gotten distracted. He just got speared by his own team. But you know what, this is working, I think, quite well. The spearmen are just picking him off on the right-hand side. I think, they, look, but see, the Samurais, have they arrived yet? They have, actually. This is it's actually going to be a little closer, but look at that. That poor guy is just getting mosh-pitted. They, they were just like, pylon bundle, and he was down. So now we have just a pure armada of spearmen. Should we try something new here? Barrel roller. What the fuck? What the heck are barrel rollers? Let's get some barrel rollers and some muskets. I have no idea what's gonna happen here. Let's start it up. <laughs> okay, that was that that makes a little more sense. They're explosive barrel rollers. I just didn't expect that. I didn't expect that, okay. Let's just go with one barrel roller. And uh, you can send Trump in. Trump and Hillary are in the game. Jeez, this is all a bit crazy. This is all a bit crazy. You know what, let's just do that. Just have an army of ninjas. Let's just have an army of ninjas in here. And you know what, we'll put the barrel roller ready to flank. Are you ready for this? He's gonna flank. Okay, let's start it up. See how this goes. Look, I never see this coming. Okay. Look at all those ninja stars go out. I feel, look, they're sick. They fire so fast. The thing is, I'm scared they're going to, no, and look. Who is this squad? Who are they? They're just the ninjas. Okay, they got some catapults here. So we're going to need some fast attacking units here. Why not just send in three chariots down the line? And then I need someone to clean up what's left. Some people to clean up what's left. Let's just send in some Vikings. I have no idea how, this is probably not going to go well. Oh, they're, they're reindeers. Christmas is, did they really just crash into it? Why would they crash in? Why are they crashing to each other like that? No. Let's just go for... Let's go for an armada of Vikings down the middle. Start it up. The sleigh bell horses. Why are they Why are they going for each other? They're actually doing a good job here. See, look at this. The flank. I feel like we may have actually killed a lot of our own guys there. A lot of friendly fire. Okay, I think we need to rethink the strategy. But he's still going. Oh. Okay, he's gone. Let's change it up. You know who I liked, actually? 
I like the Vikings a lot. What if we just start an absolute army of Vikings? Here we go. The Sea of Vikings. Look at this. They're spread out. There's going to be some friendly fire as well on the peasants. Looks like we're winning on the left and middle. On the right and middle. All right, have we made it? We've made it to that catapult. We've made it to that catapult. That's looking good. Friendly fire. That's what I like to see. Right, this guy's going to make it. Look at him. The ninja. He's heroic. His name is Horatio, even though that's the least Viking name ever. Look, they don't even need him. He's like, did I miss the party? Okay, what do we have here? Soldiers with buckets on their heads and a few shields. I'm thinking, all right, I'm thinking we send in some sacrifices, some sacrificial Vikings just going down the middle, and then the spear throwers are going to, while their spears, while their shields are down, they're going to finish them. And then we're, we're just going to send in some more Vikings either side to go and deal with the, uh, the side, the side units. Here we go. The strategy has been thought through. Will it work? Oh no. These guys weren't supposed to run in there. But they've actually got the flank on point. Spear guys look look right. This is actually working, I think. You know, battle is an unpredictable thing. Oh, goodbye. And look at that. These guys are li literally getting spears up the arse. Like, oh my goodness. Oh, oh, oh. He's made it in. But he doesn't even need to throw his spear. Oh, they can actually... Use their spears as weapons. <laughs> oh! Wait, wait, wait. This actually could be dangerous. No friendly fire. That's all we need. Why, why would you aim for the same target? Come on, come on. They can do it, they can do it, they can do it. Yes! The two legendary spearmen that held it down. That's, it's time to get some miscellaneous in here. It's time to send in the chicken man. Send in the chicken man. And we'll send in a few boxes to just, you know, just, just back him up. Here we go. Send in your armada. Of chicken. Look at them go. You can't mess with the chickens. Yes. The chicken man nearly got caught off guard by a spear man then. Oh no, he's alone. His chicken are being killed. Run! Run, Mr. Chicken Man! Run faster! He's oh he's he's pooping out chicken. And he took an arrow to the knee and the foot and the shin. Honestly, I feel like this is a good map for a chariot and then just an army of footmen. Look at that. Look at that. And go down the line. Oh no, you had a perfect opportunity, Mr. Chariot, to run over every archer, but it doesn't... Oh no, it does matter. Chariot, why are you upside down? Are you dead? Are we, we're reaching our first technical difficulty. He's like, get out of the way. I will die on my own. That plan did not work. You know what? Do you know who's been very successful for me so far? The Vikings. 20 Vikings. 20 Vikings go into battle. Look at this. Look at this. Would you be afraid? I would be. Look at that. They're coming from every angle. And look, they just they just keep collapsing in. They're going to push the sway of the battle. That is what we needed. Look at that. And they've got shields as well. So the, uh, so the bowmen don't even know what's going on. Look, they're shooting each other. Look at this guy at the back. He's like, oh, I done fucked up. I done fucked up. <laughs> he just goes drive by. Yeah. Okay, what level are we on here? Let's go back. Let's check. We made it to level 8. I think I'm going to go to level 10. And then we're going to go and have some fun in the free roam. Jeez, this is like going up against the firing squad. Let's just test, see if ballistas can outrange them. Let's go ballistas and chariot. See how that goes. And what else do we have? And we'll just send in a few ninjas. Ninjas to kind of flank us from behind there. And a taekwondo. And a taekwondo. One taekwondo. Look at that. He's trying to take off. Santa's trying to... He's, he's going to get shot so bad. Oh, no, he survived. And he's running down the line. Come on, Santa. 360 with a cart. Oh, and it's dead. Okay. Look at these ninjas. The art of, he's, he's now the art of climbing in his many training classes. Yeah, you taekwondo that rock, bro. Uh-oh. Retard <laughs> alert. Okay. It would appear that we failed. Time for the triple chariot. Triple chariot? Sure, let's do it. Triple chariot. One, two, and three. Then one axe man. He's just going to... No, I think it has to be someone who can get close. Perhaps three Vikings. That will just run in from this side. Here we go. This is a tough level. But the chariots have made it in. We need to get them to shoot each other. That's what we need. I wish I could work on the pathing of these guys. Yeah, that's the way you want to be running. That's good. That's good. Just drive by them all. Oh, that's, that's what we were looking for. And then look. While they're distracted. The axemen come in. The axemen even needed. Don't run over the, the axemen. They're kind of a key part. 
To be fair, we've got three carrots up. No! Oh! So right, you can do it. The reload time is a while. <laughs> that was unexpected. <laughs> okay, we have four, five cannons. And a bunch of muskets. They got the firepower here. So it's time to send in. It's time to send in Hillary. And Chicken Man. The United Unbelievable Squad. Come on, Hillary. <laughs> oh! She gets knocked down! She again. You're never gonna keep her down! She gets knocked down! She must be dead. She must be dead. Oh my goodness. This resilience, beaten down in the election, beaten down in dab. What am I witnessing? Oh my god! No! <laughs> it's a very valiant effort, but evidently not not the go-to plan. Why don't I not just stick with chariots? Chariots work well against these guys. Chariot, and let's have chariot either side. And how much money? I still got a lot of money to play around with. You know, maybe just some regular archers. Yeah, straight down the middle. Here we go. I think this is flawless plan strategy. Come on. Don't run at each other. That's all you have to do. And look at that. The friendly fire. The friendly fire. And then look, while they're distracted, that was the, the, the master plan there. The absolute master plan. Okay, final level. Final level. Here we go. So, we'll see how Trump does. Oh, does he get AKs? Trump gets dual wield AKs. Okay. Nobody builds walls better than me. <laughs> He's just going all out with an AK. Build a great wall. Come on, Trump. Use those AKs. <laughs> what a champion. <laughs> oh, my goodness. What a hero. Oh, my goodness. Guys, we've made it to level 10. But there's really only one battle that needs to... Made it past level 10. There's only one battle that needs to go down here today. Are you ready for it? Trump versus Hillary. The battle we've all been waiting for. Here we go. What is she throwing? She's Oh, she's mail bombing him. She's sending propaganda in. <laughs> Come on. I, I want Hillary to win. I don't know why. Actually, no. Actually, Trump's got dual assault rifles. He deserves to win. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Just like the election. Did I get the colors right? I think those are the right colors as well um, for their parties. Okay. A dark peasant versus six trumps. Here we go. Oh my goodness. Okay. No. The dark peasant is strong. We are going to add in. You know what? They're going to work together on this one. We're going to add in a few Hillary's. <laughs> Add in a few Hillary's. Here we go. I still think that... I don't know. Okay. Yo, this dark peasant is getting slammed, but look, he's just... He's peasanting. I don't think those books, those envelopes do much damage. Oh, no! They got him. There we go. If they just united, they could overcome the dark peasant himself. A super boxer versus a chicken man man. Oh, my goodness. How does this work? The chicken man poops chicken man. I see. Surely the chicken man man is going to win this then. Look at this boxer. He's throwing fists. But look. The chicken man man is just birthing chicken men. And they're going to outnumber the boxer soon. The boxer won't even be able to attack. I'm just going to assume the chicken men are going to win this. But I kind of have to see it go down. It's got to be over for the super boxer. How can he have this much health? And the chicken men are just pooping out chicken. <laughs> the epic music plays. <laughs> uh, wait. The super boxer won. All he had to do was kill the big chicken man and he won. No way. Okay. What do we want to go for next? Two samurai masters versus Trump. Oh. They, oh. They're into him. Samurai masters are epic. Look, they're cheap as well. Samurai Masters, literally, I spent a, a thousand Samurai Masters. As you know, that is Trump's 2000, so it's not as valuable. Oh my goodness, have we seen it all? We're going to put the M16 up against... We're going to put him up against a lot of... We're going to actually, we're going to have a, two M16ers and they're going to be surrounded. All right, here we go. Three M16ers. 
And then we're going to have my favorite troop. We're going to have a huge semicircle of Vikings. This is going to be like 300, but slightly twisted. Here we go. Oh! It's on this rock. They're going to have to watch out. Don't shoot each other. Oh, it's going to be friendly fire. Oh, no. Now, the M16s are OP. Okay, we're taking out one of the M16ers. And we're going we're gonna to bolster this side of the fort. Okay, surely it's over for the M16ers now. That many Samurai Masters. Oh, it's getting, it's getting risky for them. Oh, no. Okay, wait. We're going to add the one M16er in the middle. See if they hold off this time. Here we go. And wow, that one guy makes the difference. Does he make the difference? We need to watch out on the right. Oh, I kind of want the blues to win. Oh, the samurais are in. Oh, there we go. Strength in numbers. Okay. We have truly seen it all. Now, the only only final test I want to do, I want to see if Trump is better than two Hillary's. Isn't this getting political? Let's go. Okay, let's see. The wall just got 10 feet higher. You know, I want to see this now rematched. I think it, maybe it depends on the distance. Like, she has the height advantage right here. Oh, she's losing it now. Yeah, it's because it's she can't do damage. She doesn't have the range. That is Hillary's weakness in her envelope throwing. Oh, wait, she's got the height advantage. Nah, she needs a distraction to be able to defeat Trump. There we go. That is going to be it for <laughs> this totally accurate, you know, 100% accurate. That's how life goes. Battle simulator video. If you guys enjoyed and want to see more of these in the future and see me play more of those single player levels, let me know down below. Leave a like, all that good stuff. I'll see you all soon. Thanks and goodbye.